The pandemic caused a lot of people to pursue hobbies they'd been putting off for years. I recently met a farrier who decided to put his time to good use, chasing a dream. Nigel Fennell started using his craft to create art, and he built two life-size horse sculptures out of steel. His third project used 4,608 of these mini secretariats, if you can see them, to capture one of the greatest moments in horse racing history. Secretariat is widening now. He is moving like a tremendous machine. The speed of a legend. The strength of steel. In the stretch, Secretariat has opened a 22-length lead. He is going to be the Triple Crown winner. And it frightened me. You know, in a way, it frightened me. The touch of the artist. It was creator's fear. All for the love of one horse. I bore responsibility in my own soul to make sure that I did him some justice. Nigel Fennell is a highly decorated farrier. Well, me and my wife had, um, we would planned on moving to the United States for different opportunities. Difficulties in the visa process, then the pandemic produced too much idle time. I had a flair for art at school 35 years ago. And not enough work. Out of the darkness, that's how I came about to start building horses in steel. He is incredibly talented. Um, he gave his heart and soul to this piece. His wife Susie pushed him to finally begin this dream project, Secretariat, like he's never been seen before. I used about a thousand feet of body frame because it was an inch apart. And to fill that frame, images barely two inches in size. So I basically built him out of thousands of himself to represent a horse in a million. You have his measurements, so you actually base the frame and the build around that to get as accurate as you could. The width of his chest, uh, the length of his neck, from the shoulder to his, his rump, and from the shoulder to his hip, and from hip to hip. And then of, of course his famous 76 inch girth. He had a, such a huge girth, um, depth of a chest, because at the time no one knew it housed a 22 pound heart. That heart and his record times in all three Triple Crown races gave America and the world something to cheer for, something to believe in. To pull anything off, you need to fall in love with it. So I fell in love with the story, the legend, and, uh, and the animal itself. Nigel consulted with jockey Ron Turcott. I was a bit starstruck. I had all these questions for him. He used Turcott's measurements too. I had the idea that I would get mouldings of Ron's hands to go on this statue because um, then it's his hands holding the reins. But until the two can meet in person, they are molded from Nigel's hands. Ron has seen video of the final product. He said that Secretariat was like riding an iron horse and now he's been built from iron. I don't have an engineer's brain, so I'm not one that can sit down and do endless pictures and drawings and mathematical measurements. So instead, he used instinct and what he'd learned since childhood from leaning into the animals putting his hands on their feet, legs, admiring their strength. To get every, as much as I could, and muscle detail and prowess of movement, that was one of the most important parts, was to produce a secretariat that was static, but was moving at an incredible pace. Nigel kept very good records. He logged 1,360 hours building Secretariat. And here's some good news. Since we shot this story, Nigel confirmed that for the rest of 2023, the sculpture will be on display at the Kentucky Horse Park in the International Museum of the Horse. And that's beginning on Wednesday.